Howdy, this is group six, and we are presenting the elevator pitch of the paper. So firstly, the goal of the paper is to help the data centers to save power by keeping the number of active servers consistent to the current workload, which is what the authors mean by resizing. The authors used a general model for this problem. Basically, we want to minimize the cost of the data center, and the cost consists of two parts, the operating cost and the switching cost. What the operating cost means is the cost of uh, of maintaining the servers and also the cost caused by the increased delay because when you use less servers, you may have more delay and this will cost you. Well, the switching cost is the cost to toggle the servers between power saving mode and the active mode. Then let's look at the math of the general model quickly. X of T here means the number of active servers at the time period T and the function G models the operating cost and the this part of the model means the switching cost which where beta is uh, constant and the uh, plus symbol here means that we want the bigger value between zero and the value in this bracket next let's talk about the optimal solution we can get offline the idea of the offline solution is to assume that we know the operating cost for all time periods. Then what we need to do is just to minimize the switching cost. To minimize the switching cost, the authors achieved it by finding the lower bound and the upper bound for the optimal number of servers. They find the lower bound by optimizing switching cost for x of t minus x of t minus 1, which means that there is beta amount of cost for each server being toggled to active mode, while for the upper bound, they only consider cases where the number of active servers decreases from time t minus 1 to time t, which means there is beta amount of cost for each server being toggled to power saving mode. This way, the authors get the range of the optimal solution, which is between the lower bound and the upper bound. So this is the idea of the offline uh, situation where we know the operating cost of all time, but in practical, obviously, we will not be able to know this. So let's look at the online algorithms for the practical situations. Regarding the online algorithms, we assume that we know the operating cost in a time window, and we denote the time window with the small w. So we know the operating cost from, from time tau to time tau plus w. And there are two online algorithms in this paper. One is the LCP algorithm, the lazy capacity provisioning algorithm, which is the main contribution and the main insight of the paper. Another one is RHC, the receding horizon control algorithm, which is a then existing algorithm. And this algorithm is used to be compared in this paper. So let's look at the LCP algorithm, the term lazy is used because it takes reference lazily from the structure of the optimal offline algorithm by staying lazily between two bounds but moving forward in time. Similarly, the authors find the upper bounds and the lower, lower bound, and this time they take in the time window W. Also similarly, the authors get a range for the optimal solution for the online situation, which is bounded by the newer lower bound and upper bound. And they also presented a lemma here, which indicates that the new range of the online algorithm is bounded by the range of the offline algorithm. So let's evaluate the solution. To evaluate the solution, the authors presented this theorem here. So this theorem, this theorem means that the cost of LCP algorithm is at most the cost of the optimal offline solution plus two times of the switching cost of the optimal offline solution, which means that the LCP algorithm is three competitive. The three competitive here means that the, uh, the cost of the LCP solution is at most three times of the optimal offline solution. And the competitive ratio used here is the main measurement of the performance of the solutions. Uh, what's more, the competitive ratio of LCP algorithm is not affected, not affected by the time window W and the constant beta. So now it's time to bring up the RHC algorithm whose competitive ratio is not only affected by W and beta, but also higher than LCP's competitive ratio in most cases. 
The authors also managed to test their algorithms on real-world data centers, the Hotmail and the Microsoft Research, and the algorithm showed potential to save cost for the data centers. The authors also claimed that the competitive ratio is even better in practical applications. However, there are also issues beyond the scope of the paper, such as the requirement to maintain availability guarantees. And there are also more potential new applications of the paper. For example, the method presented by the paper might be applied to any facilities that need to save power, such as cellular signal base stations. That's all for the pitch. Thank you for listening.